So what is good YouTube? It's your boy Legendary EA and we're back here for another episode of the Sacramento Kings My GM. Now I know I've been lacking on this series so much since uh, I started this off season, but yo, this week we will be getting back into it. Uh, probably going for one or two more seasons with this squad. But as you guys know in the last episode, we picked up Nazir Little and Kenyon Martin Jr. So we took some W's there, but our lineup, man. It says that we are buying, and I, I, I honestly could see that we have so much young talent on this team that I, I really don't know what to do with it. But if you guys enjoy this series, please make sure you go ahead and smash that like button, like up this video. We're, we're going to be bringing back everybody except for Harry Giles. I mean, Giles wants off the team so bad. He's a 63 overall. I mean, he's acting like he's about to get signed. So we're, we're going to go ahead and not bring him back. So we're honestly good there. We're going to go ahead and restrict Scal. La area but yo man let me know what you guys think about this series in the comment section below i think it's been a long series i think it's been a good series but i do need to get back on it and today i do plan on double uploading so stay tuned for that we are heading into free agency obviously i would like to get somebody like devin booker is realistic he's not coming here uh and they're gonna match him in the first place so offering him we we can try it we're not getting him. Now, I do want to get one of these veterans, and somebody that is pretty interesting is Al Horford. He's looking to take a smaller deal from us, about for $13 million. Um, It's honestly between him and Marcus Saul. We are his number one team. Uh, Al's younger, and he's wanting to like take less money. I think Al Horford is probably the move for us right here. I mean, Scal can pretty much hold down that backup power forward spot. And then we can decide who we want to start at center between Al Horford and Bull Bull. Yes, we know that Al Horford is a higher overall, but Bull Bull is a better rebounder. Both of them can like knock down the three and Bobo was way more athletic and I think that Scal can pretty much be our force off the bench because he at least provides experience there. Yo, let me know what, what we should actually do because just looking at this team, we are so guard heavy and I feel like most of these guards can actually like play somewhere. So let me know what you guys think about that in the comment section below, as well as which types of matchups and which types of trades you guys want me to make this season. You guys, you guys got to remember, they have to be semi realistic they have to at least make sense so uh, just let me know in the comment section below but like i said i do plan to double upload a rebuild later on today so stay tuned for that but heading in to free agency and this gameplay right now we are just trying to add some like veteran talent and truth be told we really don't need it but i guess we can go ahead and sign marvin williams um none of these guys really have championship experience but Yo, man, we honestly just need roster spots here because there's about 11 spots on the team that cannot really be taken. And that's obviously De'Aaron Fox, Trey Young, Marvin Bagley, uh, Rodney Hood, Romeo Langford, Nazir Little now. Like, that man is actually, like, cold. We also pick up the Curry Stopper in Matthew Delvadova. He's either going to be our... Yo, we got to... We have so many guards. Like I was saying before, like, I don't know what I really want to do with it because our backup guards, we have, all right, our, our, our backup guards right now is Romeo Langford, nah, Nazir Little, uh, I do want to give some minutes to, like, Justin Jackson, like, we're just, I don't know what we can actually do here, like, Frank Mason is cool, but, like, I prefer all of the other guys above him. Like, I, I might even consider running Romeo Langford at, like, backup point guard just so that we can have some, like, length there. And he's also a, a fairly decent passer as well. But heading into the Summer League. All right, we are taking on the San Antonio Spurs completely. De we are destroying these guys. We're 89 to 65. I don't know why Trey Young is still playing in it, but he's not balling out. And that's kind of the biggest question about Trey Young that I actually have is whenever i have 2k reset the, reset the lineups they never start him and i think it's for a reason he is a deadly shooter he is a deadly scorer for us but is romeo langford or rodney hood the better choice there that's something that we really have to think about because they really do want to start Romeo Langford and Nazir Little over Trey Young and Rodney Hood. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't really like it, but let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Right now, we're just cruising through the summer league, taking all W's, you feel me? 
<laughs> but yo just let me know who you guys want to see actually play this year because obviously we've already been taking on golden state so many times um i believe we are gonna be taking on them during the season opener and stuff like that so just let me know i don't think that we played the uh, minnesota timberwolves a lot so that that may be a matchup that you guys do want to see let me know how you guys feel about that in the comment section below and other than that i know that we didn't have the most crazy free agency obviously but we did pick up veteran pieces to help us now since we do have so many young young pieces this is realistic and i feel like we we, we have a set core of guys that are completely untouchable let me know who y'all's untouchables are in the comment section below and who we should trade because we do have a lot of pieces to actually trade on this team now looking at next year's draft class isaiah todd uh rj hampton like this is not actually a bad class and we got we got Dwayne wade's nephew and son and i think lebron's son so that should be interesting if we keep this series going into next year's offseason but looking at this year's lineup like i said 2k wants to start langford and little i'm trying to start trey young and rodney hood but let me know what you guys think in the comment section below before this i had no idea who nazir uh little was until i saw that that's when i knew this guy he's he's a dog he's pretty freaking cold so that's something that we do have to take into account he is a beast uh as far as rodney hood i, I kind of like rodney hood in the starting lineup just because he knows his role and he's not going to really d demand much scoring Trey young is really undersized but he is a knockdown shooter and then De'Aaron fox is just he's the best he's the best facilitator in this in this entire my league so we got to keep him starting but other than that, I do hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Let me know what you guys think about our move of signing Al Horford and Marvin Williams and our lineup changes. Let me know what you guys think about that in the comment section below. Like up this video, hit the subscribe button, and share it. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for the season opener. And stay tuned for the second video today, which will be a rebuild. But other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace, y'all. Cause niggas started talking to me like I'm slowing down Opinions over statistics of course Come at me and all you'll get is the ballistic report